Today, we finally find out if the $6,000 price tag for the Mac Studio Ultra is actually worth it for architects. Until now, Archicad has been running primarily on Rosetta 2, using the old Intel software, not actually using the full capabilities. However, Archicad 26 has come to the party with their technology preview so that we can actually test this software out against Apple Silicon and see how much of an improvement this genuinely is over everything we've seen in the past. We're gonna be looking at template load times, export times, render times, and of course, overall ARCHICAD performance. If you pay close attention throughout this video, there is an Easter egg for all of you ARCHICAD users out there. Starting with the basic template load times, we're gonna find two vastly different results. The Intel version managed to load in 13.71 seconds, which is incredibly fast, especially if you're comparing it to an older PC. Whereas when you step up to Apple Silicon's version of ARCHICAD 26, that same template, loads in 7.62 seconds. That's 1.8 times faster by simply going to the Apple Silicon dedicated version of ARCHICAD when you're running an Apple Silicon chip. Now, if you're running a larger commercial template that takes a lot longer to load, then you're again gonna be quite satisfied with these results. The Intel version of ARCHICAD 26 loads a large commercial template in 17.21 seconds, whilst the Apple Silicon loads it in 9.69 seconds. Again, we see that significant improvement of 1.8 times quicker load times in both templates straight away. Now, alongside ARCHICAD 26 technology preview, Graphisoft actually did a blog post that showcased their predicted speed improvements. And I'll post them on the screen here. They were phenomenally faster. At the start, I didn't actually believe any of these speeds would be coming true. However, as we started testing the standard load times, it became very quickly obvious that what Graphisoft is actually saying might be true. Something that I thought would become unstuck in this actual theory would be a PDF export time. Traditionally, this is primarily focused on the read and write speeds of your hard drive. They don't have too much to do with the actual software. At least that's what I thought and I was completely wrong. The Intel version of ARCAD 26 manages to export 19 pages of highly detailed documentation in 26 seconds whereas the Apple Silicon version does it in under 16 seconds. We're talking a 1.6% improvement on read-write speeds. Typically, that is never improved, at least in my experience, and now they've managed to do this as well. Now, I did promise an Easter egg to all of the ARCAD users out there. And for those of you who've been following me for a while now, you'll know that I love my ARCAD shortcuts. So what you're gonna see behind me is the full production version of the ARCAD shortcuts desk mat. It is available right now on the website, so if you check out the description down below, it will be the first link down there, and you can purchase yourself an ARCAD Shortcuts desk mat that will sit on your table all the time, and you're never gonna forget some of the best shortcuts that will save you so much more time than the Apple Silicon upgrade can. Now, if you saw my last video six months ago when the Mac Studio Ultra was delivered, you saw that I compared it to a PC and compared 3D wireframe marquees. Now, I was very impressed with the speed of the Intel version on the Mac. The Intel version manages to take a floor plan, cut it into a section of 3D and turn it to a wireframe in 1.35 seconds. Whereas when you convert to Apple Silicon, it does it instantly. There is actually no load time whatsoever. There is no lag. Now, this wasn't expected straight away from this Apple Silicon. I did see similar results in the Intel version because one second is basically like zero lag, but this now running on Apple Silicon's dedicated software and chipset is truly no lag. However, we do find ourselves with a fork in the road and this is where Apple Silicon's version of ARCAD 26 just falls through the floor. We took a very basic 800 by 600 pixel render and rendered it on both softwares. The Intel version managed to do it in just 19 seconds. Again, it was a very, very basic render. It wasn't expected to take a long time. The Apple Silicon render took 37 seconds. So for some reason, Apple Silicon's ARCAD 26 does it in twice as long. There is no justifiable answer here. The quality is approximately the same. So what will hopefully happen when the full ARCAD 26 release version of the Apple Silicon dedicated software comes out is that they will fix this glitch, they will fix this problem, and it will eventually get better. However, when that time comes, we're gonna have to test it again because at this current point in time, if you're doing a lot of renders and you need render times, 
stay with the Intel version, don't move across to the Apple Silicon version. That's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you check out the playlist to the side of me for more great architectural and Archicad content. If you love the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below, leave a comment, and of course, hit the like button too. But like always, I'll see you next Monday.